From the Orton Vela mine, Messina, South Africa, of course, no longer being mined. I think mining ceased around 2010, if I'm not mistaken. We have a quartz crystal, which has been overgrown with um, epidote, maybe some hematite, some specular hematite, which we'd probably find as an inclusion. But what I found interesting is this coloration. Now, we may be looking at some tangiite in there, which is uh, quite a rare mineral from the, the Messina deposits. Of course, what we're always looking for is the adjuite and the papagawite. Now, I've run this one past my wife. This, to me, appears like adjuite, but apparently it's not. It's grey versus uh, turquoise. It's always difficult to determine the difference. I am going to look under magnification, though. So if we find little almost fans or needles inside there, we're looking at the adjuite. Lovely patterning, as is typical to the, the quartzes from the Messina. Have a look at this, this almost creamy rim around the outside of the crystals. Then when we look into the crystal, what, what we're seeing at the back, it's partially see-through, almost milky. It's totally clear and right around. And what you're seeing there is the back of, of that, for instance, uh, reflecting through the crystal. You're seeing it out that side. So this underlying greenishness in it. Now I'm going to run it, uh, have a look at the reflections just to give you an idea of the crystal on angles. Crystal totally intact, uh, going right across there. Of course coated with the uh, um, uh, epidote, cum hematite mix, maybe some piemontite as well. This could also be an inclusion of epidote actually. All the way from the Art and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa. Very, very interesting, uh, fully included quartz crystal. Uh, lots of things happening here as well.